This is Ada. She looks like a robot, but technically she's a humanoid. I'm told the difference is that a humanoid can learn. Nick and Dan Korber don't only look alike. Like many twins, they think alike too. What's up Milwaukee? The Lakeland University students thought it would be cool to mess around with the robots they found in the computer science lab. We take the robots home over the summer and over like winter break and do stuff with them. They ended up creating code to teach the robots, or humanoids, how to learn so that these guys can then interact with autistic children. Show me a green square. We taught it to recognize basic, like a list of objects. She can also recognize humans. Who am I? A person. <laughs> That's cool. The humanoid has a strong vocabulary. Kareem. Even saying my name the right way. We can program the robot to react to like what the kids are doing, make it more interactive and fun. Like playing Connect Four. My turn. Cindy Lindstrom is the twins computer science professor. Were you surprised what they came up with? Not at all. What did they create? They wrote an artificial intelligence program so the robot could teach itself. They showed that these robots can learn. The humanoids are a learning tool for those on the autism spectrum and for people with dementia. Some people have issues talking to people, sitting in a classroom, so maybe these robots are something that will teach students with autism. This can really just I always want to like um, make the world a better place and help as many people as I possibly can. Having some fun along the way. <laughs> if it does turn into like a full-time job and I can help people, that's, that's double great because I get paid to do it. Right now, the brothers are working on teaching the humanoid to recognize emotions. The twins graduate in the spring and they are on the job hunt. Corinne Zell, today's TMJ4.